good morning. It's Claire from Clarified Creations. And excuse the morning voice, it is kind of early still. I thought I'd take you guys along for a morning routine since I haven't done one in a really long time. So the first thing I do is get up, brush my teeth, put my contacts in, all the boring stuff. You can see I changed into an outfit for running. If you're new here, I'm a nursing student at UT Knoxville and I'm gonna be starting nursing school in less than four weeks now. finished that mile walk slash run and it was very bad. It was super humid in the garage and for some reason I was just not wanting to run. But maybe tomorrow. We can always be better tomorrow. But I thought I'd share with you guys why I'm even running in the first place because if you know me personally, you know that I don't really exercise pretty much ever or not that much. And I certainly don't really run in my free time. So I'm actually going to Ohio with a family friend in a few weeks. And we're going to be competing in a race. So that's why I'm trying to get fit in these last three weeks. Because you'd think I'd be training for the whole summer. But I've kind of slacked off a little bit. And now I'm feeling the pressure. I'm going to be running a 10K. And she's going to run a half marathon. Which was just too much for me but I'm still running 6.2 miles I think and I've only done a full six mile run one time and my time was one hour and seven minutes so I'm hoping to get under an hour which is kind of a long shot but we will see so for the next few weeks I need to start stepping up my training game so I can do good in this race next I'm gonna go take a shower and then we will continue it on Good morning, officially I'm back with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, I know, super classy, but that is because I actually work at a daycare and I don't want to ruin anything nice because I've definitely been spit up on before and that's not fun to get new shirts ruined. In case they get slobbered on or things like that, I like to make sure that I don't ruin any expensive things. So let's go downstairs and go get some breakfast. Here's some strawberries that I cut up. I love strawberries. I don't always get to eat them for breakfast, but I thought I'd have some this morning. And then here I am just eating my cereal. Next is my favorite part, coffee time. I love Nespresso coffee, and I typically make a double espresso, but we were out, so I think I made some other form of iced coffee, and you never know with my concoctions. And then I'm pouring that almond milk up there because it's a little bit healthier. Pour the coffee up to make it super nice. Look how satisfying that is, you guys. And then we're just gonna stir that up. Afterwards, I always go upstairs and open my blinds and my curtains. And you can see I had some trouble this morning opening the curtains. That is pretty typical of me. I am always like that. I struggle with the simplest things in life sometimes. And then just making my bed. I try and do this every day because it helps me feel better. And it also makes my room look a lot cleaner than it is sometimes. And then just putting the blankets away. Next is my favorite time of the morning, which is reading my Bible. I got a new Bible. Bible and it has some sunflowers on it. I think it's so pretty. It's by Hosanna Revival if you guys want to check it out. It's not sponsored by the way but I'll definitely link it down below. You can see I have a little coffee set up and super cozy. Just gonna drink that coffee first. If you're wondering I read in the book of Genesis. That's what I've been going through lately so I'm starting at the beginning and just writing down some of my thoughts that I have while I'm reading it. I typically try to do about a chapter a day. Definitely a manageable amount and I'm just spending some time doing that and then I will read another book if I have time, Battlefield of the Mind. Then we're going to take some vitamins, vitamin D3, because I am very pale and I don't get a lot of sun time sometimes. So it's important that I take that and just going to get some water because water is healthy. Now let's fix that hair. It's a mess. So 
That is much better. I like the braids because it keeps the hair out of my face. Okay guys, so I normally don't do this every morning, but since I do have extra time, I'm gonna go ahead and edit a YouTube video because I have been struggling recently with getting uploads up on time for YouTube. I told myself I was gonna post three times this week and I still haven't posted the first upload and it's currently Thursday. So I need to get editing and then I'll probably just do that for 20 or so minutes and head downstairs and make my lunch for work and then head out. I like to do this whenever I have free time and especially in the mornings or in the evenings because I work pretty much all day. So that is the best time that works for me. I'm making a pastrami sandwich with my mom's homemade bread and pastrami is probably my favorite lunch meat. I'm just assembling that and taking my time going one by one. It's all wrapped up so it's time to get some more fruit, more strawberries. Oh, that one's not good. I'm gonna just choose the right ones. <music> Another one of my favorite snacks is Sun Chips. I really love the cheddar ones, but my parents aren't huge fans of cheese, so we have the Garden Salsa one, which is still super tasty, so we're just gonna put a handful of those in there. And yeah, I just dropped the bag. And this is just me showing you the whole look of my lunch. And what are those? Are those cookies? No, I unfortunately did not take all four bags of cookies with me. My mom just made white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, and I took a few to work, but definitely not that many. Last but not least, I'm just going to pack a water bottle and zip it up. <laughs> Okay guys, I just made it to work and it is about 9.36 in the morning, so it is still a little bit early. Really quick, I thought I'd show you guys what I take to work. I always keep some sort of chapstick in my pocket, so Blistex chapstick is pretty good so far because you know you get cracked lips when you're working in a small space. Then I have my Vera Bradley bag which I showed you guys earlier and then my lunchbox full of food and yeah that's pretty much all I bring to work. Not too much but I definitely bring some things and in my bag I do have an extra shirt just in case I do get thrown up on or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and head into work. I typically spend around nine hours including transportation and all that at the daycare so I do spend most of my day here. I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!